Hi, it's Sully. Welcome to Sully's Kitchen. Before we start off, there's a few uh, housekeeping items. Uh, first, I'm wearing a headset um, because uh, my neighbor is deciding to host a concert. Also, thanks a lot for the feedback and everyone that uh, watched and liked and subscribed and shared and all that jazz. Um, got some feedback uh, around that they want me to be less like Sloth from Zootopia. And to be more like Gordon Ramsay. Piss off, you bugger! Very good! Very good! Very good. Very good. There's gonna be me. Also, got the question uh, a couple times around what's on top of the microwave. Well, let's take a look, shall we? Oh, I know what this is. It's today's recipe! Today, I'm going to attempt to make gluten-free bread. We have a celiac in the family, so we uh, need to purchase uh, gluten-free items. And there's only one grocery store around that has the good gluten-free bread. And it's the big grocery store, and it's a cesspool. So, I want to avoid going to that grocery store at all costs, so I decided that I'm going to attempt to try to make the gluten-free bread from now on. Ready or not, here we go. All right, so let's start things off with two and a half teaspoons of yeast. I need to be very careful with it to ensure that I don't get a yeast infection. Half teaspoon of sugar. Oh my God, why'd I buy all this big thing for half a teaspoon? A quarter cup warm water and a whisk to dissolve the yeast. Someone told me that I could use, ah shit, that I could use a fork instead of a whisk. Brilliant, so I'm gonna do that. Okay, so I just waited five to 10 minutes for the yeast to proof. I don't know what that means, so I don't know if it's proofed, proven or not. Three tablespoons and one teaspoon of sugar. Oh, I'm starting to get my money's worth here now. Right, one and a quarter cup milk. Warm to 110 degrees. I don't know how to do that. I wonder how long I put this in the microwave for to cook it to 110. So I heat up the milk for about two and a half minutes and it seems quite hot now. So I'm going to add this in now. Uh, two tablespoons canola oil. Two tablespoons butter. Three eggs. Excellent. That lemon juice. Fit mixer with paddle attachment and whip on low speed to combine. Mixer. Awful bull to this recipe to assume that I have a mixer. Hello? Hi. Do you know anything about bread? A little bit, yeah. Okay, so here's my question. So the recipe says that I need an electric mixer to, uh, to mix all the starches and flour and stuff like that. Don't have an electric mixer. Can I just uh, do that up in the blender? I'm going to say no. No. <laughs> By, by hand or by hand. Add in all remaining ingredients. Two cups white rice flour. A half cup tapioca flour. Um, this stuff's actually made in Prince Edward Island. Pretty cool. Mix this in. Starting to make a bit of a mess in here. Starting to look more like Scarface's kitchen. All right, half cup potato starch. A third a cup of corn starch. With the amount of crap I'm pouring on the counter, I can make another loaf of bread. One tablespoon of premium quality xanthan, xanthan. I can't say that, xanthan gum. I feel like this is coming together not too bad. It's not going as awry as I thought. <laughs> awry. Bread, bread joke. One and three quarters tablespoon, teaspoon of salt. Oh yeah, it's getting gummy now. It's baking powder. It actually smells quite nice. Okay, so I buttered the inside of my little dish. Now I'm going to put the dough in. Wet hands. Oh yeah. 
that wetness on top is good. It's a good thing. It's going to prevent it from something. This is going to be one square loaf of bread. We'll see. May need to get a bread dish. Transfer to a warm place free from draft to rise for an hour, an hour and 15 minutes. I don't know. It just doesn't quite look like it rose that much to me. It definitely went out more. It could be because of um, that it's gluten free. So let's just hope for that. So I'm going to put it in the oven and let's see if uh, things will work out now. The dough is now in the oven. Um, I've been having a problem where every time I open up the oven, uh, the smoke alarm goes off. And then someone told me, I just need to clean my oven. And uh, so that's what I did. And I opened it. And the smoke alarm did not go off. Imagine that. You just got to clean it once in a while. So here's how we're doing after 20 minutes in the oven. I need to now put foil over it. And then it goes back into the oven. Smoke alarm went off again, so here's my new hack. So let's see if uh, this keeps things at bay. Okay, so it's in for 20 minutes, um, covered in foil. I then, uh, it said to uh, put it back in if it is uh, still doughy, um, and still look doughy, so I put it in for another 10 minutes. It still looks doughy, but I think at this point I'm just gonna trust the process, and uh, I'm gonna let it cool down here for several minutes before uh, moving it out of this uh, purple thing. Okay, here we go. It's the taste test. <laughs> That was a fail. Just tastes like dough. And it took like five hours. And I'm gonna keep trying. As Chumpa Wumpa said, I get knocked down, but I get up again. You're never gonna keep me down.